Hello dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am engineer Muhammad Reza Ulhaq from Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial automation system, different types of transmitters are using to measure the level of tank, vessel, etc. Siemens differential pressure level transmitter is most usable of them. Today, I will show how can we check the calibration of differential pressure level transmitter by using variable air supply. So let's start. First I am showing the transmitter that we want to check the calibration. The range of the transmitter is 0 to 57.9 kPa. Thus this transmitter are used to measure the level of a tank by using the variable yes, air pressure. It is the first we supply the power to the transmitter. We know we have to be supply the power in the uh, laboratory. If we use in laboratory then we have to be used 250 ohm resistance to supply the power in the transmitter. So I am showing the connection of this transmitter. Plus terminal is directly connected through the 250 ohm resistance and the minus terminal is directly connected from power supply to transmitter. In the video you can notice and you can see that I am showing this one. Minus is directly connected to transmitter and positive terminal is connected through the 250 ohm resistance. Now I on the power then you can see the display is a initializing and it is showing the value. This transmitter to, to the high side is the, in the directly process connected and the low side that means it is in the atmospheric pressure. We have open in the atmospheric and the one side is uh, directly connected to the process line. And the, in the different types of uh, menu you can see it is the 5 menu is the 0, zero, zero, zero range and the 6 is the upper range that means the 57 kPa and the transmitter range is you see 0 to 57 kPa and the 7 menu the number of menu of 7 in the transmitter is the process value and in the different menu you can see the different um, uh, parameters on this transmitter in the configuration of this transmitter is very easy easily can you done it in the when you connection in the process line and you only set the range then you can work. You can see the uh, 13 level is the display value which one you want to display is the KPA. You want to display KPA or percentage or milliampere this so which is from is here. Where it is the level transmitter so we want to display the percentage of this level. So we select the percentage and it is the line value. Now you see I have shown the defined menu of this uh, Siemens transmitter and you see again I am showing the different uh, option in the Siemens transmitter our upper range is 57 kPa you see in the sixth number of option you can set this value with the upper range is here uh, lower range is set in the number of uh, seven option uh, sorry number of five option and the sixth option is so we show the Upperness. You just see in the two, uh, it is a differential transmitter. Is one is a uh, put in the atmospheric pressure and another is directly connected to the process line. So I have used an uh, air supply input that you want to supply your line. It is the air regulator that we supply the air directly to the transmitter by using this air regulator. This uh, air regulator is used to supply the air pressure in the high side. So I connect this. Uh, Air line to this high pressure, uh, high, sub, high pressure supply uh, that means the high pressure line on the high pressure side of the transmitter. Now I on the air supply to the transmitter. You see, air supply is on. Now I change the value that means the supply the air line slowly, slowly, and uh, see the response of this transmitter is working uh, uh, accurately or not. Now I changing the menu uh, in the display value of the KPA is a 7 uh, live value, uh, the option of 7 is so the live value. So now I am increasing the value 
on the supply uh, supply uh, supply line by using the regulator you see it is a uh, i am increasing this from 0 to 10 kpa first i show, show the 10 kpa supply here and to see the response of this transmission it is 10 kpa or not you see I have supplied 10 kpa and in the display of the transfer is showing the 10 kpa that means our response is a uh, 100 percent okay in the i am uh, changing this value by my hand so it is a uh, sometimes it can be good now i am increasing to the 20 kpa you see in the display you see this become 20 kpa we're going to 20 kpa you see 19 and uh, 20 now i see the regulator it is how many supply from this uh, regulator you see 20 kpa that means it up uh, uh, mpa range so it is 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.02 it is the 20 kpa so you see our uh, supply are by the regulator and the response of the transmitter is same accurate now i am increasing it to 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.03 that means the 30 kpa in the supply in this regulator from this regulator and in the display you see is also showing the 30 kpa nearly 30 kpa by uh, increasing by hand so it is a small this distance now i show the level of percentage what is the it is a linear transmitter you see two type of transmitter you see linear square which is linear so i see the range level is 53 kp that means the range of our the same transmitter is 75 kp upper the 75 kp so it is showing the 12.3 million that means the 50 percent level that means the 30 kp our supply is 30 kp and the upper is 57 kp so the this uh, level is the 52 that means the something is uh, uh, that means the 60 uh, up, um, uh, our range is 57 the uh, half is the 28 point something i will increase the 30 so it is the 52 level is 100 percent accurate level now i am increasing it to the point 0.5 that is the 50 kp i am supplying the 50 kp uh, to the transmitter and uh, we see the response of this transmitter is 50 kp or not it increasing 50 kp now you see it's also 50 kp that means the our transmitter is a responding is 100 percent accurately no you something uh, something that means the supplier is higher that means the supplier and the response of the transmitter is accurately now i am increasing to the 57 kp you see in the transmitter line you see the increasing 57 kp and i will show the supply of regulator the input in supply regulator uh, supply in a pressure i will show there is the accurate or not to display of the transmitter and the air supply you see i am increasing the supply of air regulator uh, supply of air by using regulator it is going to the near to the upper range so i am increasing slowly slowly you see it is going to the display value it is automatically changing sometimes say that means it is going to the 100 percent level when the our supply is 57 kb then the level will be 100 percent so you see when i did become to the 100 percent i will show the supply uh, and the display kpa value you see this is it is the milliampere and changing the menu to seeing the kp value is there the supply of a uh, milliampere is 19 per 2 that means near to 20 20 kp 20 milliampere you see the upper is 57 and the live value is showing go to the live value live value is showing the 57 per 8 9 that means the 57 kp for that the supply value now i show the supply of this transmitter how much the supply of transmitter by using the regulator it is a 57 kpa and also the display in the transmitter is also 57 kpa that means the response of this transmitter the calibration or the configuration of this transmitter 100 percent okay and i have show it is by the using the air supply step by step when i go to the increasing by the same air supply of this transmitter when the level is increase um linearly that means the uh, when it go to the 20 percent 10 percent then the data uh, will get the pressure and it will be displayed the to the dc system that means say uh, the level is measured by the pressure of this transmitter division of the transmitter one side is a uh, uh, put in the atmospheric pressure directly open it is the constant pressure and the another side when the level is increased then the kpa value that means the pressure will be increased and the level will be displayed uh, uh, 
linearly but uh, according to the pressure of this transmitter pressure of this um, uh, liquid you see when the pressure of this liquid is 57 kp it is be 100 percent and it is uh, um, the changing of this uh, pressure of this uh, liquid level and uh, the corresponding the milliampere will be displayed and it is go to the transmitter line you see our supply is 57 kp and the transmitter display value is also 57 kp that means our transmitter is a uh, response is 100 percent okay that means uh, it is a uh, hundred percent uh, perfectly it is showing the value of this uh, transmitter when the in the process line the level of this uh, liquid will be increased and send the KPA value, KPA value that means the pressure value of this transmitter will be increased and the corresponding level will be displayed and the corresponding uh, uh, milliampere will be transmitted to the DCS and the DCS value will be same as the transmitter value because it is a linear transmitter. Again, I am showing the arrangement of this uh, calibration. First, we have to supply the uh, supply the power to the transmitter through the to, as it is I am doing in this my uh, workshop. So I have to supply the uh, yeah, supply the transmitter by using the two foot ohm resistance. I am showing this one, and uh, I am calibrating in the my laboratory. So uh, I am showing the arrangement. How can you connection this uh, in your laboratory? Uh, that means uh, it is the yeah, supply line that is supplied to the uh, supply line to the transmitter line in the high side the low side is open in the atmospheric pressure and high side is connection to the pressure and step by step you see it is the high pressure so you have to be in, have the indication of this transmitter is plus or uh, minus plus is the high pressure side and low uh, minus is the low pressure side where you have, when you connect the supply of air you have to go process you have to be, must be have to be connecting the uh, same the high pressure line in the high pressure side and low pressure line in the low pressure side now dear friend in Siemens transmitter how can we check the calibration uh, or the uh, or the the configuration how can we do it i will show you step by step you thinks if it is the most important uh, of any uh, engineer or uh, technician that works in the instrumentation system. So, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you already subscribe, thank you. Also, like, comments, and share my video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also, like, comments, and share. Thanks for watching.